This is the TP-Link gigabit network switch. It has five ports, one port for the cable coming from the router, allowing you to use four ports for other devices. This way from our one ethernet cable, we plug it into this switch and then we have four cables for your Xbox, your cameras, your TV, your PC, your laptop, your Alexa, your Hey Google. You'll get most devices giving you the option to use the Wi-Fi, but using an ethernet cable is more reliable and you often find that you have a better connection. This gigabit switch is a plug and play. So you just plug all your cables in, it works straight away. Very easy installation. We'll simply power on the switch. Then we'll get some more ethernet cables, cat 5e or cat 6 cable, and we'll plug up all our devices and testing a cable straight from the router or straight from this switch had the same upload and download speed. First, I'm going to look to plug in the ethernet cable coming from the TV. Then I'm going to plug another cable into the NVR box, which is for my wireless cameras, which will allow me to view the cameras online. Then I'm going to plug an ethernet cable into the Xbox. You'll notice the Xboxes download their games now, which I find you have a faster download using an ethernet cable rather than the Wi-Fi. So here I only have the three devices and I have one port spare. Now we're going to plug up the cable from the router lead into the switch so that all of our ethernet cables work. It doesn't matter which order you plug these cables, you can mix them around, it will all work the same. So if you only have one ethernet cable in your room, you can turn it into having four ethernet cables, giving you a more reliable network. As we know, using our Wi-Fi signal, our signal sometimes goes up and down. This way you'll constantly have a good connection. You can test your speed before and after by going to Google and typing in internet speed test and simply click on run speed test. This will test the internet download and upload speeds, whether you have an ethernet cable plugged in or if you want to unplug it and then test your download and upload speed using your Wi-Fi. And also test your speed before using the switch and then plug in the switch and test the speed again. I found the speed to be the same. Click on the link in the description, it'll take you to where you can get these. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.